Hi, I'm Ashley, and this video is about how to analyse characters. Before we get started, it must be said that the collection of resources in today's video are pretty versatile in that they can be used to act out drama, inspire writing, and to develop an understanding in reading. The Twinkle website has a variety of ebooks and short stories which come with the comprehension questions. You can also try any of today's activities alongside any other text. Today we'll take a look at Michael Morpurgo's Kenzuki's Kingdom. Beginning with a drawing is a fun and creative window into lifting the character from the page. This can be done when your child creates their own story or when deepening the understanding of a reading text in class or at home. You'll see the basic facts like his city of birth, his favourite hobby which is football and then more important information such as recalling the events that had happened 10 years previously. This now gives a sense of wonder and nostalgia and confession as the character of Michael looks back. Work with your children to find the rich treasures within the text, examples to really present what this character's like. The feeling of being engrossed in activities and then never going hungry shows that mixture of appreciation plus wonder. Being strangely elated after washing up on the island also shows he's co courageous, adventurous, and battling with whether he should communicate to the outside world shows that this is a conscientious young boy who has both loyalties with Kenzuki and his family back home. If working in class or with a group of children, this would be a great opportunity to work on a conscience alley where one side of the imaginary corridor, children can speak the thoughts of Michael wanting to communicate with home, and that other side of the corridor, children can speak the thoughts of Michael wanting to remain faithful to Kenzuki. This builds a deeper picture of the main character. Welcome this same way of working for the supporting characters as well. It's also worth asking what makes a main or supporting character. As well as having his name in the title, Kenzuki appears throughout much of the story, so he would be main. Eddie makes a short appearance, however does he support the story enough as it moves forward? An animal can even be an important character in a narrative. We will choose Michael's mum and dad because they bear much more importance on Michael's feelings to be at home or to be on the island. Once again, a simple list of adjectives, caring, loving, gives this carefree sensation when we read about the family sailing. The parents are practical, they're outdoors, they're active and happy. And then there's a desperate turn of events when the family have no job, no income, and a creeping misery came over the house. So I'm supporting once again with quotes from the text to build that character profile. This is really important because it really affects the feeling of the main character. Remember that supporting character is quite literally affecting the plot plus supporting the experience of the main character. Integral to this character analysis is the arc, the journey of the characters from beginning to end. Thankfully, the parents are reunited with their son Michael, but it's worth considering their feelings and the events which happen in the lead-up. Ask questions. Are the parents needed in the story? Would the experience be totally different without? Does Michael need that longing and that connection to home when he's on the island? Doesn't it show just how rich the discussion can be when posing such questions about the characters? The skill of inference is useful to real life just as much as it is with the pleasure of reading texts. Understanding that candles on a cake mean a birthday 
knowing that someone has collapsed to the floor in happiness, not agony, and using some clue like the joyous smile on their face, is actually practicing the skill of inference. The arrows are pointing to thoughts and inferred character traits, and this is where inference really comes into play. It's what is hinted at, what is suggested, but perhaps not directly shown. Well, Pergo does not directly say that Michael feels guilty and knows he may be breaking Kenzuki's trust. However, words such as accusations, condemnation from the forest, from the animals there, suggest, act as clues, and allow us to infer this is the feeling that the character is experiencing. We've looked at what makes a character from the outside to the inside. Try applying this to a whole host of other texts. Happy reading.